Hey everybody, Derek Frank here, coming to you from Tauranga, New Zealand, and uh, we're about to do a clinic, and I figured I'd take a minute and talk about my, my pedal board, my fun toys. If there's one thing my bass player friends will tell you, it's I like to talk about gear. I'm a little geeky that way. Anyway, I got a lot of fun little toys here on the board, and I uh, figured I'd just demonstrate them and tell you what they're all about. Come on over. Come here. Come on, it's okay. All right, so... We'll go right to left here, starting with the Wawa pedal. Got to have one. Uh, it's a lot of fun to use. Uh, let's see. Here's here's the Wawa in action. All right. So that's the Wawa. There you go. Tuner, of course you gotta have a tuner, gotta stay in tune. Uh, over here we've got the MXR Bass Octave Deluxe. Really cool octave pedal. Um, here's just kind of a plain octave setting. I actually don't use that a whole lot. What I do mostly with this is I turn the dry signal all the way off, give it a little bit more growl, and uh, kind of get that, that sort of synth sub bass thing. And I, I end up using this quite a bit. Let's check that out. So that's kind of fun. So we'll dial that back to the uh, main setting there. This is the brand new MXR Bass Envelope Filter, one of the coolest envelope filters I've checked out, and trust me, I've checked out a bunch. So this is basically, you know, like the Bootsy Mutron kind of thing. So, there you go, envelope filter. And one thing that's really cool about this is the Bass Octave Deluxe with the envelope filter. It gives kind of a little synthy thing, which is a lot of fun. So there you go, Bass Octave Deluxe with the envelope filter, really fun stuff. And we've got a loop station here. Um, I actually barely scratched the surface of what the loop station can do. Um, I use it just to kind of have some little accompaniment tracks while I'm playing, you know. They're a little super gliding. that I've kind of barely scratched the surface of what that pedal can do. If you go on YouTube you'll find a lot of guys that can do that better than me. All right so what we have up here on the top level I have a Digitech Bass Synthwa MXR Phase 90 and an HBE Hematoma Overdrive pedal. They're all on a loop right here which means I can have them all on and turn the whole loop on and off with this. But I'll demonstrate each pedal individually first before I get into the loop thing. So Bass Synthwa. I mainly use this uh, to do kind of big synth swell kind of things, it kind of sounds like this. So if you've got like a little intro, a little whole note thing, you can do that. And it's fun to do this, check this out, you can tweet. So that's kind of fun. Um, another, another fun thing to do is do some of that tweaking and kick on the, the MXR Phase 90 here. Uh, so we'll do that. Yeah. 
So there you go, MXR Phase 90 and Digitech Bass Synth Wah. Now if you want to even kick it up a notch, I do the uh, Synth Wah with the Phase 90 and the Overdrive. So there you go. But, you know, don't do that too often. You'll probably lose gigs if you start doing that shit. That stuff, sorry. Uh, okay, MXR Phase 90. We'll do that one individually. This is just the classic phaser. The classic... Uh Classic AJ, and of course, just the, you know your overdrive. Straight ahead, distortion, gotta have it. And of course, they're all going through a volume pedal, so I can keep the volume on my bass consistent. So I keep a consistent level going into the pedals, and I can just adjust the volume with the volume pedal. Straightforward. So there you have it: the pedal board, the toys. Yeah.